Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and you are watching Youth Nation Coders. Today we are going to solve this problem, the smallest number of nodes and the problem code for this particular problem is FLO0005. The problem code as well as the solution of this problem you can get in description box below. So what this question is all about, consider a currency system in which there are nodes of 6 denominations namely you have a note of rupees 1, rupees 2, 5, 10, 50 and 100. If the sum of rupees n is an input, write a program to find out the smallest number of nodes that will combine to give rupees n. This is a very simple question. We have done this before on that question. Chef and I think a remissness or chef and uh, yeah, this was chef and karke koi tha. I, I don't remember, but I will attach the link of that particular video on i button. So, what is the pattern of input? The first line contains an integer t, total number of test cases, and total number of queries that we are going to get. Then following t lines, we are getting each line containing integer n. And we have what we have to give as output for each test case, display the smallest number of nodes that we can combine to give the value of n. So, for we, if we analyze this test case, so we have got three queries. First one is 1200. So, we have to pay 1200 rupees. And we have the currency of 1, 2, 5, 10, 50, and 100. So how are we going to pay? We are going to give 12 notes of 100 rupees. Simple. So the answer is 12. If we have 500, then what we are going to do? If we have to pay 500 rupees, then we will simply take out 5 notes of 100 rupees. And then we will pay to that particular person. So we have how many notes we have used? 5 notes. If we have to pay 242 rupees, then how are we going to... Uh, count the number of nodes so for 242 simply we can use one node for 100 and then another node then it will be 200 rupees then we can't use 50 because it will become 250 so we will use four nodes of 10 rupees so it will be 40 so 200 plus 40 will be 240 and for 2 rupees we have used one 2 rupees node so how many nodes we have used we have used seven number of nodes so the answer is 7. So this is a very simple problem. So let's see the solution. First of all, we have we are getting the total number of test cases as input. So we have taken it and we have converted it into integer form. Then for those particular test, test case, we are getting some input and we are doing some work and we are reducing the value of test cases every time. So this loop is just simply made to for repeated number of times we are going to take input that's why so every time they are providing us a value n and then we are going to simply we are taking input and then we are providing this value of amount to count currency function and we have to find count currency function here so this function is taking amount as an input value then how many nodes we are going to pay number of nodes we are going to maintain by the variable count but now right now because this is an initial time we have we have the value of count as zero because right now we are not going to pay anything to that person we have also the total number of nodes that we have in our currency system it is 100 50 10 5 2 and 1 rupees note so what is the thing that we are going to do here so count is zero that means for each and every node given in that list we will traverse the list from top to bottom side if we have to pay amount 200 so let us assume if we have to pay amount 200 then we will check whether the amount we have is greater than and is equal to i that means can we pay that much of amount using this node and how can we get this note? We can get from iterating through the list of nodes. So first of all, we will check whether the 200 is greater than or is equal to 100 rupees note. It is then it means how, how many notes we can pay. How many notes can we pay of 100 rupees to make it close to 200 rupees. So it is simple. We are going to divide 200 by 100. So we will get two notes. That means if we pay two notes of 100 rupees, then we can simply pay 200 rupees so how are how are we getting this and we have to just track the number of two that the answer that we are we were getting two nodes so we have to get the count of nodes so we have created a variable count is equal to zero so first of all we will check amount 
upon i that means the amount which we have to pay divide by i means that particular note we will check how many number of notes we have to pay for that particular uh, value so for this 100 we have to pay two notes so how can we get that amount upon 100 simple and the total number of notes we are going to track it by count variable so we will add that value to our count and every time what is going to happen amount will be so if we are going to uh, use this thing that we are going to pay 100 rupees for this 200 uh, payment for the payment of 200 rupees then we are using 200 rupees notes that means our amount will be zero but how can this value be zero so we have to just go through a simple formula that what is the amount the amount will be previous amount minus how many notes we have used count number of notes we have counted the number of notes so we have used count number of notes into i i means the current value the current value of note that we were on that it is 100 so it will be something into 100 we can also write this thing as amount is equal to amount modulus i that means 200 modulus 100 that means uh, when we divide 200 by 100 we will get remainder as 0 rupees that means we are getting amount as 0 so we can use either that formula or this formula so we are using this formula right now so what this whole entire loop is going to do it will iterate it to every uh, every node and then it will check whether the amount is greater than the number of node if it is then it will count how many number of nodes can we just provide to that particular person so it is just counted by that count variable and then every time we are going to reduce our amount value and then print the value of count final so let us run this code and check whether it is going to work for this or not and here so we are getting 12 5 and 7 as output and this is absolutely correct so if we run uh, for some different uh, uh, test case let us assume that we have to pay 250 rupees or you can say that 150 rupees so let us dry run this code the value of i will be 100 150 is greater than 100 yes the value of count will be count plus amount upon i amount divided by i means 150 upon 100 that means we can use one note of 100 rupees that means the count value will be 1 then amount is equal to amount divided by i amount modulus i means when we divide 150 by 100 the remainder is 50 rupees the amount will become 50 now then the value of i will become 50 because we are iterating on this list then it will be 50 so 50 is greater than is equal to 50 it is so how many nodes of 50 are we going to use to pay 50 rupees it will be amount upon i means 50 upon 50 so we will use only one node so we will inc increment the value of counter by 2 the so amount will be amount modulus i method 50 divided by 50 so we will get remainder as 0 that means now we have to pay 0 rupees and then this loop will just end up and we will get the count value as we have used only two nodes the one node was 100 rupees and another node was 50 rupees so this is a simple problem and uh, we have completed this code so this is all about the smallest number of nodes on code chef click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time